Hi. This has been crazy, you guys. This has been super crazy. And so I don't actually think it's connected to the original link, but it will be recording. So I'm just going to get started. Hold on. Let me tell Katie. OK, I am alive. And let me give her this link. And then this is a really good example of determination because we've been at it. All right, here we go. Let me give this to Katie. Oh, wait. I see people. Can you guys see me? Hi. I see Lisa. It says starting. Yay! <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have to come to Zen. I have to come to Zen after that. That was crazy. Hi. You can hear me. I'm so grateful right now. So this? this is a little bit of backlight. Hi, everybody. Hi. That was crazy. That was really intense. I'm so glad it's working. Technology. All right. Okay. Hi. My name is Brianne Kerr, and I am a Black Status presenter with Unique. Um, thank you so much, Katie, for inviting me. First of all, this webinar series has been so amazing. Um, the presenters we've had thus far have just blown my mind. And especially this time of year, it's so awesome to just like end the year with a bang and go out with a bang and getting inspiration from everybody. So I'm really excited to be here. <sighs> I have to calm down after that frantic trying to get the internet to work. Okay. All right. So I am going to be talking about um, determination. Um, determination, this business. I'm also going to be talking about creating a community and a culture within your team and how super important that is. Um, it's really a, on top of being determined and making a decision. It's a big part of my story and why my um, team is just, they're just so amazing. Um, I hit black status in eight months. This is my first time in direct sales. I hit black status last February. Um, so I'm just going to kind of start talking to you guys about my unique story a little bit. Um, first of all, I am a mother of three. Uh, I was, before unique, a, a birth doula and a home midwife assistant. Um, I, my husband is active duty in the Army. He joined very late in life um, after some traumatic things happened to him. He was, in a way, kind of trying to heal himself. He joined at 32, which is really late in life. And so we went from, I lived in San Diego, California. I was a massage therapist at a five-star spa. He was an ocean lifeguard to coming home and saying, I enlisted in the Army. And uh, it moved us all the way out to North Carolina, Fort Bragg, which is the other side of the United States from where we are at. And I uh, had a nine-month-old. Um, she's now seven. And our income literally got cut by like 75%. It was really crazy. And because of that, we ended up going into a lot of debt. Um, I started my birth business while I was still raising babies and having more babies. And he got deployed to Afghanistan. He got injured overseas. Um, and when he came home from Afghanistan, we knew that he was going to be medically retired. And, you know, my, when I joined Unique, my youngest was five months old, my oldest was five. Um, knowing that I didn't want to leave them, knowing that when he got out, I didn't know if he was going to actually be able to work, um, I, I knew that I needed to do something. And I have a really good friend. I actually was a doula at her birth. Um, and she joined another company, another direct sales company, about three years ago. And she is now a top earner in that company. And I watched her do it. Um, and it really inspired me. Now, I knew I didn't want to sign up with her company. Um, but I knew that this profession could work. And so I was kind of keeping my eyes out. And so. One night, I was on Facebook, and one of my friends who was really, really pregnant was complaining about direct sales companies, and she listed off Unique. Now, at this point, I kind of had a large group of friends in the military, and I had had my birth business for a couple years. I also created a really large natural birth and parenting group on Facebook that I ran. Um, that was It was just wonderful. So I knew a lot of people, and I knew a lot of direct sellers, but I hadn't heard of Unique. And so that was kind of like red flag number one, that like, ooh, what is this? So I immediately jumped on the website and I started checking it out. And the very first thing that caught my attention was our mission, to uplift, to empower, and to validate. Now, as a birth doula, that is, that is our whole deal, man. We are all about 
getting women through some of the most trying times in their life like that that and so that really resonated with me uh, the second thing that really resonated with me was the uh, how forthcoming we are with our ingredients um, it lists them all off and nowadays that's not really heard of in the cosmetic company and I thought that that was really wonderful and so I messaged my friend my little my top earner friend in the other company I said hey I think that I want to do unique and she kind of laughed because I quite literally been years since I wore makeup. Um, and do you know of anybody to sign up under? So I recruited myself. And so she's like, well, I know Amber Voigt. And so she, I, she sent me Amber Voigt's website and I signed up right away. And the moral of that story is, is this is why you need to network with other networkers is I, you know, Amber didn't recruit me. I recruited myself. I hadn't even heard of the 3D fiber lash mascara before I joined. Um, the night I joined Unique, I just got, I just knew if she can do this, if these girls can do this, I can do this. I just had this feeling from my head to my toe. And I, I tell people I became a black status presenter the night that I joined up with Unique. I just hadn't been recognized yet. And that's the truth, you guys. I made a decision. And I was so excited about this, so excited that that enthusiasm just absolutely it still carries me I, I still feel that way every single day about about unique and about this amazing company that we're with so i had absolutely no idea what i was doing i have never done direct sales before i have never done sales before um i it was completely new to me and so like a sponge i went on youtubes i watched all the webinars I just absolutely siphoned like any kind of knowledge about what I was doing as much as I could. But while I, I didn't wait to learn this stuff to start, I just started. And I knew that if I wanted to retire my family and build a legacy, then I had to build a team. Um, you know, Amber Voigt is really, really big on attraction marketing, you know, like uh, just putting it out there and letting recruits come to you and sharing your joy and not being super spammy and that was really great because I didn't want to be that person you know what I mean I didn't want to be that I didn't want to be a spammer you know and that's what I did and uh, my friends were like whoa Bree she doesn't she's never done this before and they started paying attention and they started signing up um, I ran my team page my group just like I ran my natural birth and parenting group, right, where we support each other, because that's what I knew. That is a community that I knew how to create. Now, at the time, I didn't realize that what I was doing was building a family, a strong, strong family, um, where we uplift and we support each other, um, and a community and a culture amongst my team. I didn't realize I was doing that, but that's exactly what I was doing, because that's what I knew how to do. Um, about a month and a half into my journey with Unique, I promoted pretty fast. Um, I, you know, I hit fast start pink and on to blue within four weeks. Um, about a month and a half into Unique, I started to get really, really sick. I have Chiari malformation. Um, it is malformation of the back of my head. Um, my brain is literally falling out of the back of my head. Um, it presses on my spinal cord, presses my brain stem. I also have EDS, um, and I had gotten diagnosed with this when I was 22, and it never really caused me that many problems. Then one day, quite literally, I woke up and I couldn't get out of bed. Um, pain in every single joint in my body, and then constant vertigo where I, I really I couldn't I couldn't stand up. And you know, I, I, there was a lot of things about that period of time that were really scary that I questioned. I questioned if I was going to be able to take care of my three kids. Um, I questioned if they were going to think I was a bad mom because I, I was in bed all day. Um, I questioned, I questioned everything. What I never questioned was my ability to run my business, ever. Um, and I don't really know why. Like, if they look back and be like, man, that was a really hard time. A lot of people would have, you know, it, and it didn't phase me. And it's not because I'm not superwoman. I'm, 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 I'm not superwoman. It's because I made a flipping decision, man. I made a decision. I made a decision that I was going to do this. I made a decision I was going to go to the top of the company. And I made a decision that I was going to retire my husband and we weren't going to have to worry about money anymore. Now, that decision resonated with me so deeply that 
almost when I did start getting really, really sick, like unique was like my light. Like there were so many things dark going on with me and unique was my light. And I could do it from my phone in my bed. I could do it from my phone in my bed. And my phone was even broken, man. If you go back in my timeline, you're going to see like the first six months of unique, like my, my selfies are really fuzzy. Um, and so, you know, it would take me a good hour and a half to get my makeup on to take a selfie uh, because I just get so dizzy sitting up. Um, but it, I did it, you know, because that's what you do. I am so into attraction marketing that I didn't get on the internet and tell everybody this was what's going on with me. Um, I didn't blast it all over my team pages because my job as a leader is to be uplifting and it's about them. Like it was never about me, it was about them. It was about finding all the information and figuring out how to do these parties and to do all of this stuff for them because I wanted them to do well because we are family and that's what families do. Um, and that was creating community and culture within Team Awesome. Uh, it, it, it was these relationships, these relationships with your team from the heart um, and you are creating a family. And when you create a family amongst your team, you're gonna have people that will walk next to you forever. And that's exactly what happened with my team. Uh, four months into the unique, I had brain surgery. Um, they removed the part of my brain that was uh, falling out. Uh, they, the day before brain surgery, I broke my foot. I fell in the airport, I broke my foot. I was just a mess, I was in a wheelchair um, for months and months. And I hit purple status in the hospital day after brain surgery. Um, and it still kind of freaks me out. I was in the, I was, I had to calm my emotions. Um, in the hospital room, I had a roommate. She had just had sur brain surgery too. And she hears me just, just so stinking excited. She's like, what's going on? What are you doing? And I said, I just hit exclusive in my company. I've been doing it. And she's just like, well, what are you, what are you doing? What's going on? You know, I, um, it was, it was an amazing moment. It was, uh, I ne but I never didn't think that that wasn't going to happen because I made a decision. You know, I made a decision. Um, people will come in and they'll kind of, people are, so, we're so afraid of, of rejection. We're so afraid that, well, what if I don't, I'm not good at this? Well, what if, you know, I, I say I'm gonna do it and then I don't, and then I'm gonna, you know, people are afraid of making that decision and absolutely committing. And you know what, some people come in to Unique and maybe, maybe you don't want to be a millionaire. <laughs> hey, whatever. You know, maybe you're in this just to make enough money to get your hair done once a month. That's okay, that's okay. Knowing what you want to do, regardless of how big or small, and committing yourself to do it will be the bulldozer to drive through any obstacles and any walls that are in your way. Because when you have dedicated yourself to something that you are going to do this, that is where your vision is. You know, I was so pumped up about this opportunity and about this company and about the rock stars on my team that it almost made what I was going through a little less painful. Um, Unique saved me in a lot of ways. If I didn't have something else that was bringing so much joy, if I didn't have women around me to shed light on, which in turn was like lighting up my soul, I would have been stuck in the darkness of what was going on and how scary it, was, it really was. Now, I have been super, super fortunate to just have amazing rock star women on my team. And Carly talked about it. I absolutely loved her building leaders webinar. The women on my team are better than me. And that is flipping awesome. And that is exactly what you want. You need to know that the women in your success line are better than you. And you need to know that they are better than you before they know that they're better than you. See, because it's not about me. You know, it is, if it was up to me and my super great ideas on how to have parties and all the hows and how to do this and how to network and how to, how to, man, I don't know if we would be where we are. But what I did, what I did do, and looking back in hindsight, I can be like, oh yeah, I did that. Like that was what I was doing. That was what was working. Was you creating an environment where leaders can bloom. 
Now, what does an environment where leaders can bloom look like? It's one where they're not being overwatered. It's one where they're not being scorched by the sun. It's one that's being loved and nourished and changed depending on what they need. It's a community of positiveness. Um, it's a community of love and support. It is a family. Now, I have women who maybe do $100, maybe $125 in PRS every month, but they are so active on their team, and they are loyal, and they bring so much light into my company. Every single person in your success line is of the utmost importance, and them knowing how important they are to your family and you appreciating them and everybody being on the same playing field well, then you've got an environment where women are comfortable enough to mastermind with each other. You see, if the leaders on my team came in and kept all of that goodness to themselves and didn't mastermind with each other, didn't teach each other, we didn't brainstorm with each other, man, think about all the, inform all the awesome information that would have just been lost. You know, it is about the whole picture, you know. It is, if ego can ruin your business, you guys, it can ruin your business. Nobody wants to walk next to somebody that casts them in a shadow. People want to walk next to somebody who lights them up. And your job at creating a successful community and a successful culture and ultimately a successful team is to shed that light. It's to shed that light. And so you're constantly looking for, op for, 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 for reasons to recognize. You know, in this day and age, people just want to be seen. And they just want to be heard. And they just want to be loved. And if you can figure out a beautiful way to do that with women in your success line, you're blooming leaders, you guys. You know, it is about them and their success. And the more women that you have promoting in your success line, the better your business is going to be. You know, I make gosh darn sure at all the women on my team, are on, I'm friends with them, so I can learn who they are and I can watch them work and I can find reasons to shout them out because it's that, it's that relationship, it's that bond um, that's, that's, that creates that loyalty, you know. And, and more important than the relationship that I have with the girls on my team, the relationships they have with each other. Now that is key. That mastermind that goes on amongst leaders that just blooms to just life-changing things. So it must be an environment where everybody's comfortable doing that and everybody's opinion counts and nobody feels like muffled or stifled. You know, it's, it's really important. So I hit black status in February. So I hit black status three months after I got out of the hospital. I hit black status. I joined uh, Unique in June of 2014, and I hit black status in February. Um, I've maintained black status every month, which is, is, is I, it's, it's an awesome thing. Uh, my team is absolutely amazing. We welcomed uh, the first black status presenter last month to my success line, and I, I'm still an emotional wreck about it. And if that doesn't go to show the love in our leader garden that we create, that it was just like the, the month I hit black, I was kind of in shock, like, whoa, whoa, what's about to happen? I can't believe this is happening. The month she hit black status last month, I was a flipping emotional wreck. I'm, I was gonna get choked up talking about it the entire time because it's like watching your babies bloom. Like that is the love that you need to put into your team, you know, and they feel that, they feel that, and they, they know that. Um, my husband retired out of the army in April. He got medically retired. Uh, he's got lots and lots of in injuries from his, his time overseas. He's got PTSD. Um, in June, we moved to Denver. So I'm high up in the Rocky Mountains. Um, I'm home. I'm from Colorado. Um, and so we're home. Uh, my husband is retired, retired. He, Unique is our full time. He doesn't have to work anymore. And to be able to give him that, after all that he's been through, it is one of the greatest gifts that Unique has given me. Um, and I, I still go back to the night that I signed up with Unique. Um, I knew this was going to happen. I call my dad. My dad is a salesman. 
he's a very successful salesman and he loves direct sales. He's never been in direct sales, but he loves direct sales. And I called him up that night and he was so, so excited. And I said, dad, I'm going to do this. And he knew it and he believed in me. And that belief and that faith that I got from my dad, you also spread onto your team. You have to believe in your girls. That feeling, because you know what? A lot of times people don't. Like we have friends that won't believe in us, that think that we're full of it. We're combating a lot of stupid stigmas in this profession. And it's gosh darn not true. And I know it's not true because I lived it. And now I get to watch it. Um, and so you believing in your girls is so, important to them you know people and this goes with not just the women in your team but the relationships that you're building to build your market you know to sell your makeup to build more friends to to build your team if you can connect with somebody like really connect even for just five seconds if people are walking away from an interaction with you feeling better because they talk to you you will have customers and teammates that want to stand next to you and want to be around you and, and want to work with you for the rest of your life. Because people will forget what you say, but they will never, ever, ever forget the way you feel. And it's so true. How do you make people feel? We're talking about the way that you run your Facebook page. Um, are you admitting light? It's a dark time in the world, you guys. There is a lot of really crazy stuff going on. I stay the heck out of that and just shed light. Um, Amber Voigt taught that to me. It's one of the very first things that I learned when I joined. It's like we keep the negativity away because negativity is toxic. And unfortunately, negativity spreads real, real fast. Um, though the way I run my Facebook group is it's still open. All right, and like I know a lot of leaders have had to shut down comments. Um, a lot of them have to have admin approved comments. Um, when your teams get really big, that might be something that you have to do. That's not something I've had to do yet. Um, we rarely have negative posts on my page. Um, when we do, I will message the girl if I have to delete the post to let her know, like, hey, I'm not stifling you. I'm not muting you. I hear you. I appreciate you. Let's work on your problem together. So she still feels uplifted even if you have to remove her post. Now, it's all sorts of these group admin things that are actually really, really important. I'm not going to super get into that right now because um, – I could really talk about that for a really long time, but it's the attitude and the vibe and the love that your team, that your team has, you know, it's, and it starts with you. It starts with you and it starts with your belief. Have you made a decision? You know, it doesn't, you're, the how doesn't matter, you guys. We can go out and find the how. You know, I had no idea what I was doing when I joined, um, and many of my elites joined within the first eight weeks, right? But you know what? I have no idea how to do that, but let's go find it. You know, And so all of the research and the stuff that I was doing was almost to like hold up a beacon of light and try to figure out the path for my girls. Like, hey, this is working. Hey, this isn't working. Um, having open discussions on your group page, like listening, because you know what? Your girls are brilliant, man. And this, we all know that this profession, man, the, the, the the, the really awesome ideas, the really great ideas for videos. Um, if, if you are creating an environment where people feel like they can't speak up and share, you know, the ideas that they have, then you might be missing a huge chunk of awesomeness for your company. And so, um, and that's, that's really keeping your ego in check too. It's really, really important. So, um, that is, I, I'm still, like, where I'm at after my surgery is I have lots of permanent damage uh, from my brain being smushed for so long. Uh, I have severe short-term memory issues. Um, you can ask my girls. I forget lots of stuff. So you don't have to remember lots of stuff to be a black, successful black status presenter. Um, I have to make notes, then I lose my notes. Um, I'm still in, uh, I have really good days. I have really, really bad days. I get to work from bed. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I couldn't drive for nine months, you know, and so, you know, I, I, you hear excuses. You hear excuses, and everybody's journey is different, and the impact of what's going on in other people's lives, you shouldn't compare it to your own. You know, I, I, I love the fact that in my unique journey, I can be like, man, I've been through hard stuff too. Like, I have that empathy. You can't let it stop you, you know?
You can mold this business around your life. You can make it work any way you want to, and that will come. You'll figure that out if you've made a decision. And you can't tiptoe. You can't just kind of tip your toe in. You know what? You make a decision. It doesn't matter if it's the night you signed up with Unique. It doesn't matter if it is three months after you signed up with Unique. It doesn't matter if it's two years. When you make that decision, you say it out loud. Say it out loud. There's something, write it down where you can see it every single day. It, there's something really, really powerful that happens when. Um, Think and Grow Rich, which is one of my absolutely favorite books. If you've never read it, you need to go read it. Um, it talks about the auto suggestion. When you say something out loud, right? Like, and you just you have this conviction, it will happen. It will happen. And the biggest mistake that so many people make is they just are afraid of making that decision because we're afraid of failure. You can't be afraid. You know, the fear drowns out the love. And if you are a leader, the women can sense that. If you're tiptoeing around your business, you know, we can sense that. And they follow your lead. You know, they follow your lead. I 110% always work my business the way that I want my girls to work theirs. You lead by example. And that's so, so important. I would never ask my girls to do something that I wasn't doing. And that's how you figure out if it works or not, right? <laughs> um, so uh, last month, actually, talk about some uh, more like dedication and, and, and having to balance your work and your life. And you can do it, you guys. Um, my, I have a four-year-old. He's my middle child. And he actually got diagnosed with Chiari malformation last month, which was, has been really hard um, for me because I know what that means. And I know what he's going to have to go through. Um, he's having surgery next month. Um, and again, I'm so grateful that I can mold this business around the life. I'm so grateful my kids have two full-time parents home. Are you kidding me? You know, it started with a decision. It started with a decision. And life will always be super crazy, you guys. Life will always be super crazy. There will always be different things thrown at us. You know, we will always have walls that pop up. It's your attitude when you stare at a wall that will get you. Are you going to jump over it? Are you going to bulldoze through it? Or are you going to turn around and walk away? You know, that decision is yours. And it, we, I've had lots of negative thoughts. I don't like to try to give the impression that I'm just like a ray of sunshine all the, the time, you guys, because I'm not. I'm a human, man. Um, we all have the, those first thoughts, right? It's like dark, right? You have no control of your first thought. You have control over your second. You have control over that. So you need to make a decision to approach life and to grab it by horns the way that you want to because it's yours. Because it's yours. Um, you know, the basis for success in this business comes from love. It comes from love. It comes from loving the women on your team. It comes from loving yourself. It comes from loving, loving this company. Um, and when it comes from a place deep in your heart, you absolutely radiate that. I have 72 personals and all but one came to me. Um, I knew right away that making as many friends all the time, which is easy for me because I really enjoy people, is really, really important. And again, going back and shedding light on everybody that you come in contact with is really, really important. Um, Growing your network, growing your market, you know, it's it's a big part of my story. And, you know, you do that, but you see, you have to be somebody that people want to pay attention to. And if you're not, then this is what we do with personal development. There is always an answer to problems. And even if you can't see that answer right now, if you just keep going, that answer will be there. I didn't understand why what's ha why I mean I was so pumped up about unique and I had those thoughts like why is this happening when I like have something that I want to be really good at and I want to do really really well at why is this why is this happening it didn't matter why now looking back I can see how many how many unique presenters have approached me and have the same disorder that I have you know it's you just you never know 
you never, you never know <laughs> until hindsight um, the reason for your path, you know. So does anybody have any questions? Um, I feel like I just like <laughs> all over everybody. Um, but this chat is open and I've been kind of, it's been hard for me to focus and read. Um, let me go through and see. I'm so glad this worked. I was so frazzled, you guys. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. You know, read, think, and grow rich. Okay, get it. You can get it on Audible. Get it on Audible. It changed my business. Uh, How to Win Friends, Influence People, Think and Grow Rich. Two books that I have everybody in my team read and uh, read it again, and then read it again. Uh, Amber Voigt likes to say leaders are readers. <laughs> She's right. I listen though. I have a hard time reading. So, um, listeners are, are, are winners too. Yeah. Um, and you know, here's the great thing is you aren't expected to be super duper motivated and gung ho 100% of the time. Um, I have bad days where I can't even like focus on my thing, but I'm always thinking about my business. Um, the books are uh, Think and Grow Rich and How to Win Friends and, win and Influence People. Those are the two books. Um, so it's okay if your motivation goes like this in this business. It does. It's, and it's just like sales, man. We have super awesome months, and we have months that maybe are not as super awesome, and the months are even more awesome than before, and that's just the nature of the beast. It's the nature of our profession. Now, being consistent through that is so important. So if I feel my motivation kind of slipping, if I feel like I'm getting in, to self-pity, which will just, it's self-pity is the most icky place to be. Um, if I feel like I'm sinking, I go on YouTube and I listen to some of our leaders. Um, I will listen to books on tape. I love Big Al. Um, and I'll just sit there and I will listen. And I'll be gosh darn if it doesn't put me back to where I need to be. You know, you have to constantly keep yourself in check. Do you have a quick fix for when you feel yourself a bit blurred. Oh, I just said that. That's awesome, um, Heidi. Yes, you go out and seek it, man. Go out and seek it. Um, if you have a close uh, relationship with your upline or with your sponsor, being like, "Hey, man, I'm feeling bleh. I need some sunshine," you know. Or one of the most amazing fixes for anybody's bad day, you know. I could go and I can sit here and I could write a novel about all the super crappy things that are going on in my life, right? That's not going to make me feel any better, is it? Maybe a little bit. You know what makes you feel better? Go and listen to somebody else. Go reach out to somebody in your success line or your cross line or your up line and ask them how they're doing. Listen to what they need. When you give, you receive 10 back, man. You know, and, and that is also working for your business is knowing who your girls are. You know, so if you ever need to get out of that, listen to their why, man. You're gonna have girls that look up to you that are waiting for you to lead the way with your light, you know, who are trying to get off of welfare, who need to figure out a way to buy diapers for their baby tonight. This, them, that will motivate you through anything. Um, yeah, it should be recording to YouTube, to my YouTube. And I actually don't even think it's my unique YouTube. I think it's my old baby wearing YouTube. So if anybody needs to learn how to wrap your baby, you're gonna be able to scroll through my YouTube. Um, but I do have a Brienne Kerr um, a YouTube, which I will upload it to that too. And I'm sure that Katie will share the link um, as well. You know, I'm just gonna kind of uh, end it with this. All of our journeys are so different. Um, we have no idea what the future holds for us, really, um, as far as all the crazy things that life throws at us. When you are, when you've made a decision, you have that determination, it does not matter the twisty road that you have. Some people might have a super straight shot, right, um, to getting what they want. Some of our roads may be super twisty. If you keep walking and putting one foot in front of the other and remind yourself why you made that decision. Remind yourself of what you want. Remind yourself of what you have. Fact is, is that you need, <coughs> we're three years old, man. We only have 160 black status presenters right now. You know, uh, I, listening to Melanie and Derek talk about their, their vision for the next six years of this company, like, 
I don't care if it takes you two more years to get to black status. You're in the right company at the right time. And if you just keep going and keep trying to get better to make your team better, you'll get there, man. Um, yay, I love the UK. Thank you so much. Um, so you just keep going. <laughs> you just keep going. Even when you don't know what you're doing, you just keep going. You know, Even when you don't feel like you have anything to say, you just keep going. You know, Even when you can't get out of bed, even when you can't remember anything, <laughs> you know, you just keep putting one foot in front of the other and you keep walking your path. Um, and if your personality tells you that that feels really weird, because we all have different personalities, we all have different character assets and character defects, then that's where personal development comes in. When you grow yourself, you grow your business. Now, I heard that right away. You know, I knew that constantly trying to be a better leader for my girls, um, was going to be really important for my business. And so when you don't know what else to do, you work on yourself. You make yourself better, you know. All right, you guys, I think that if there's any last minute questions, um, I'll take them. But then after that, I, I think that I'm signing off. I hope I got everything in that I wanted to talk about. Um, <clears throat> You know, my son's going to be going into surgery next month, and it is super duper scary. Um, I still have a whole bunch of issues that I'm still dealing with, and I might be in surgery again in the next six months. But how flipping blessed are we that it doesn't matter because you can work your business however the heck you want, you know? Um, how the heartbeat of our company is to uplift, empower, and validate everybody else. And you can do that if you're sick, man. You can do that if you don't know what you're doing. You can do that if this is your first time in dark sales. You can do that if you don't know how to wear makeup. You know, if your ego is taken out of it and is all about your team, you will succeed in this business. And that's just the way it is. So, all right. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry about the technical difficulties. Um, you guys are super duper awesome. Goodbye from goodbye from uh, Colorado. All right. See ya.